Hey everyone, and welcome to The Sims 4 Legacy Challenge. Uh, this is going to be episode number one, so we're just going to do some introductions to the challenge. I am going to introduce you to Cordelia over here. Um, I moved her into Newcrest, into this lot that is outlined with blue, and it is a 50 by 40 lot. Uh, opening up the legacy challenge rules. Um, okay, first of all, I have never played a legacy challenge. Like, you know, I, I tried a bit with the not so very challenge, but I got tired of the rules. But we have little Cordelia. She was raised as a normal human. She's a spellcaster. And she was raised as a human by her parents in her house. And she didn't get to go to school because, you know, her she just had this quirkiness. She could levitate objects and, you know, set things on fire. And her parents thought she was weird, but they wanted to protect her and not have her killed. So when she turned young adult, she got a mark. And, like... She just went to figure out what it was, and it turns out she's a spellcaster. And she had a fight with her parents. Her parents just wanted her to get rid of the magic, be normal, get married and everything. But she said, no, I'm going to be the greatest witch ever, and you are all going to see. So, the, uh, the legacy challenge. Uh, to get started, we need to have a sim, and there's only two rules which are, uh, they have to be a young adult, and they must be the only person in the household. Uh, again, uh, it says to take care when giving their name, especially their last name, as future sims will have it as well. Her last name is Spellius, and I kind of wanted to do Malfoy, but I thought it was, like, way too Harry Potter, so I just went with Spellius. Uh... Once you have finished your founder, move them into an empty lot, uh, select your founder on their empty lot and pick move family. And we have to find a lot that is 50 by 50. I chose a 50 by 40, not by 10 uh, squares that we're going to miss them. And we need to start with 1800 simoleons, which I have not done yet. Uh, for the succession laws, I have chosen all my laws, so there's that. She's a spellcaster, so obviously she's going to try and have like a strong family and generation, so she can be like the po most powerful witch ever and have her family be like one of the old families. And But for gender law, I chose a matriarchy, which means the founder is female. Only girls are eligible uh, to be named heir unless there are no female children, at which point boys become eligible for that generation. For the bloodline law, I chose modern, which is both naturally born and adopted children are eligible to be named the heir. For the heir law, I chose random, uh, but this random uh, is gonna have like a magical bloodline, which means they must be magical in order to be, you know, apt to be chosen as the heir. And for the species law, I chose a tolerant uh, species uh, just because I, I don't know. I if if we have a human child and they are not like. A spellcaster and they were the only child I don't mind making them the heir but they need to find a way and get the magic back into the family so for the gameplay rules uh, I don't think there's any uh, there's no cheats hacks mods that will give us any adventure I have slice of life and Robert keys uh, memories and I have uh, wonderful whims so they make my sims more cranky they have their periods and everything so it definitely does not make my 
mo my game easier. I do have mods uh, of like hair and clothes and everything, but again, that is not changing my gameplay. So I am gonna show you little Miss Cordelia here. She is absolutely stunning. Cordelia here. She is absolutely adorable. She was actually like a randomly generated sim. Uh, I changed her skin color to a bit lighter. Cause... Uh, I changed her, hair, uh, her skin color to be a bit lighter. Uh, you know, to match with the eyes and the hair. Uh, the eyes, actually the game went to catch the CC eyes. Uh, I just changed their color to this like bluey violet kind of, you know, spiel. Let's go to her. I gave her like a bunch of everyday outfits. So this is the first one and she is a very modest lady. And the same one but in other colors. And then we have this one which is a little bit more fun and you know fresh and then we have this one and we have this one if she needs to go somewhere like you know to blend in with the humans and everything for her uh party no formal outfits we have this one i really like this one i feel like it's gonna be perfect for maybe some initiation ceremonies or something i don't know i really kind of want to give them like a holiday where they just celebrate all their magic stuff and this will be the outfit and then we have this more again more humany one for her to blend in we have this athletic outfit i don't expect her to wear the athletic outfit that much but i gave her this one she's showing a bit of way too much leg for my taste uh maybe i'll get her something like this like this maybe yeah like this i'm gonna give her some leggings like that uh this is her sleepy outfit her party outfit this is again more formal and this is the other one. This is her beachwear outfit. Her hot weather outfit. One of them, actually. Here's the other one. It's really cute. I wanted it in dark blue, but I couldn't find it. And this, as you guys saw, is her um, winter outfit. Cold weather. Uh, she wants to be like the greatest witch like i said so i gave her the spellcraft and sorcery uh you know aspiration she's ambitious she's a perfectionist and she's a snob she thinks that she will be better than everyone else and everyone will see so a few hours later um him clearly in a new spot and I can't speak that loud because it's night and what are we gonna do now is just gonna build her something with her initial funds and get her like a gig um, at first I was very undecided between going with the lawyer career or with the acting career because I really wanted to you know I wanted to give her that sense where she would help kids in the same situation as hers like with parents not trying to show them um, show their kids to the world because of quirks and in that way find uh, someone like that like her and but then i decided that since she didn't have an education it would be easier for her to do the acting career so i'm gonna change this to 
180. There we go. I'm sorry if you hear meowing, it's just my cat. So we're, bu we're building her a little cottage. We're gonna build it facing here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get her some pavement like this and build like a little path like this. We can adjust this later because we really can see crap with the snow. And then I'm gonna create a room, but it's gonna be like a little small room because rooms are expensive. Okay, not like this, maybe like this because I want it to be like the foyer of the house. There we go, something like this. Uh, what do we need to get her? We need. We need a bed and I think maybe tiny living has something to our tastes uh yeah here uh oh realm of magic has one okay never mind uh I'm getting her this bed because it's cute and we can barely fit it in here um I'm gonna like Stretch this a bit because we're tight. We very tight. Um, okay, uh, maybe like this. Oh boy, we're spending so much money. I do, I do want to try building with uh, octagonal rooms because, yeah, it's I really want her like first house to be a magic cottage and then I want to build like into a little castle and then we can just evolve it with the generations but we are gonna need a toilet just like cheapest one you can find and okay maybe we don't need a shower just as of right now but we do need a mirror and I'm getting her like this full length mirror so she can practice her acting skill on it and I'm getting her this door just cause you know simple enough uh, I want it to be I do like the black one I'm gonna get her the black one so far so we have 120 simoleons and let's go to life mode cordelia sweetie go here okay we need to travel to the Rajic realm and learn a spell so first of all we're getting a job uh work find a job and she's gonna be an actress she can mingle with humans, she can meet potential partners, she can work whenever she wants, which is one of the main reasons I actually want her to go. Uh, which is one of the main reasons I want her to go through the actress uh, path. And my uh, game is trying to decide what personality type she is. And mini Meaningful Stories is giving us a warning. So, we are putting her as an actress, and now we... Oh, boy. Uh, we're gonna do this one, because they are more heart-to-heart, and it's something I like. So, we're gonna get our Glimmer Stone, and we're gonna travel to the Magic Realm. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and 
get some of the teachers uh, some spells uh, so we can, you know, check out the first box of our path uh, towards magical greatness. And my cat is meowing. And yeah. Okay, we are in the magic realm, and she's bored, because she thinks it's not greatly the court. Hi Simeon, just, I'm gonna introduce myself, I'm gonna be like the next great thing you'll ever meet. I don't want to go to Batu. Just, you know, say hi. Hi. Okay, I am gonna mention seeking this and I'm gonna discuss interests and talk about the weather and Cordelia has her archetypes, which we'll see in a bit. And Simeon has the greedy personality archetype. Okay, uh, the archetypes are from the Wonderful Whims mod. Uh, what? No, <laughs> not what I not what I meant, Simeon. I don't want to know about your health that way. Oh. Uh, they couldn't go. Okay. Uh, I do have a mod that gives us first impressions. So, Simeon thinks we are strong minded. This sim has a very confident and powered vibe, be it real or just a facade. So, he knows we're the big deal, he knows we're the next big thing, and he's actually just kind of impressed by it. And we got the charisma skill. Daddy, thanks. Uh, I am gonna see if you can teach me. Can you teach me? And maybe teach me some potions? Oh, he's sage as well. Oh yeah, he's teaching us. Yay! Okay, we learned Riparia. Why are you sitting down? Okay, yeah, we got one out of nine. Yeah, one out of nine. Okay, this is nice. And we have learned the Potion of Nausea. Okay, can... Uh, Reach spellcaster rank 2, know 3 different spells, cast a spell on another sin. Okay, so, while I'm here, hold up, who are you? You are cute. Stevie Cunningham. I've never seen you before, so say hi. Daryl Charm, you're cute too. Say hi as well. She's very, very cute. And we're gonna say hi to Alfaba. Because she's one of the masters. Maybe she can teach us. Go, 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 go. Something I hate about playing in a new file is that, like, the sims are always the same because in my personal file I have like three or four 
families that I rotate between. And if you want to see me play with those, uh, you can just search for my Twitch. And it's just sad that I get back here and it's just all the same. Why haven't I introduced myself to a father? Like, ignore everyone else. Just say hi to Alfava. Because she's important. Okay, I... Okay, I think we did it. Yes, we did. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna ask her about her favorite color. And I'm gonna ask you for your creativeness. And I'm gonna, you know, show you I'm that good. And I know, yeah, if we search for tomes, we can find like hidden spell books and such. So it's a very good idea to always search these kinds of shelves and the action uh, responds every like two or three hour sim hours so you can do that multiple times okay they're just talking she just got up I went like, yeah, I am really enjoying the conversation, but I need to look for something in this shelf. And I can't remember if she, if she switches shelves, like, yeah, she does. Uh, automatically, she does. Uh, we're gonna talk about the cloudy weather. And we're gonna. I'm gonna tell you an outrageous story. And. I'm gonna discuss your interests. You know, I just wanna be your friend. Let me be a friend, though. They're having a pleasant conversation. Elphaba's greedy. I hate Sims with the greedy personality. They are so annoying. What are ours, by the way? So we go to Somology. Okay, so she would be happy to be pregnant. And we have the artist and sage. Uh, they're not bad. I mean, not my favorites, but not bad. Okay, so, why are you furious? Why are you furious? We got the comedy skill, by the way. Uh, can I ask you to teach me? And... There was something else I wanted to do. I can't remember what it was. But hey! Oh, I know what it was, but it just didn't appear because when she was mad, there was an action that said uh, discuss angry mood and it busts like your parenting ability and that's needed because we're gonna have to max out as many skills as we can so i'm counting at least on acting singing and charisma at least
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep looking. Come on. I hope you don't get annoyed that I'm really in the ultra speed all the time. But just because she's talking and looking and I don't want to like sit here and watch her look for 5,000 hours. Ah, oh, I can't share my knowledge. Elfhaba is a bitch when it comes to sharing stuff. Uh, okay, so it's time for us to go home. It's fine, just leave it. Go home, you have stuff to do. And, oh boy. Hang on, there's so many people here. Who are you? Seiji Nishimura. You're from Snowy Escape. Okay, so we're nearing the end of the episode, and, well, we didn't do a lot. We have our founder, Cordelia, and, uh, yeah, we got her job, and we started on some skills. Um, like I said, I think Cordelia will really want to focus on her acting career, because she'll want to get to know a lot of humans, and try and find someone who she can be herself with um okay uh then she'll want to have kids and stuff but we will be getting to that later so on the job we are gonna check out our open auditions and charisma level two seems fairly easy to obtain right now so we're gonna make her practice a speech and 7 p.m. Monday okay maybe we have some time to get her to the audition before we end the episode oh no oh no are you? You're not. You're from Sulani. What the hell are you doing in your crest? Uh, as we go along in generations as well, I will start like moving in some families in here as well, like moving in some houses and some businesses at some point. I really do want them to have a restaurant and I really want them to have a flower shop. Are those the only... Oh, we... We need to have like one of each. That's my kind of goal. But at some point we're going to have that. And I want them to be in the same neighborhood as our house. Okay. She's doing her charisma skill. Her comedy wouldn't be that bad. Persuasion, I think it's like a mini skill, so I think it only has like five levels. Yeah, 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 come on. Oh, you're at 129. And now you're at 90. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm back over 100. So nice. Yeah, we get it. Cordelia can now perform Bright and Day on Sims. Okay. I don't think I ever maxed out a skill on The Sims 4. Like, I usually play for a bit, but then I get tired, and so I just kind of eh, give up. We should now work on her acting skill. Because you won't need a hun. The better your acting skill, like the higher your. Okay, acting skill is built by practicing in the mirror. Nah. Okay, so it just allows her to do a better job. So we're gonna need to do that. So this is a skill we definitely need to max out in order to succeed. I never played much with the actor 
again as with skills i think i reached level 10 in like one career so it's something it's something uh i want i kind of want each of my sims to have like different um careers and when we get spouses we need to check what the hell the info is on that because you know maybe we'll only move them in after kids because they'll look after kids i don't know yet she acquired the skill go pee no 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 go pee use come on oh um as i said i have both the kawaii stacy slice of life and the wonderful whims mod so they give us a period periods are like the nastiest bitches ever especially from slice of life because they are so so annoying i really don't like them but it doesn't make my life any easier so just get back to practicing your acting Something we need to find is a space heater, because we are in the dead of winter. If we don't do something, we'll freeze. Okay, so I really wanted her to go to work that is not happening on this episode but next episode you can count on her going to an audition hopefully her getting uh the job and going on the job and maybe learning a spell or two extra and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in episode two of our legacy challenge